the satellite saying, Victor? Right now, not a goddamn thing. I've lost the signal. Hey, you know what never loses signal? Paper. All right, this route right here should take us straight to the volcano. Might get a little bumpy, though. Let's get the show on the road. Okay. All right. So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. And one of those towers is right on the volcano. I see some ruins up ahead. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest four by. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go. Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. Hey, just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. No, turn into it. Ah, we're getting nowhere fast. You need traction here. Let's not get stuck here. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. There we go. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my spine. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4 by 4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. It's going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. Oh, oh, oh gee. shit. Take this slow, kid. Yeah. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... Why, exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe, uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. Go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape or something, several hundred years old. Yeah. It definitely ruins from Avery's era. There. I know how to do it. Whoa, whoa. Well, that looked like fun. Steeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. 
Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha, <laughs> poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society. It's taking forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah, well, still taking a long time. How would you look at that? Oh shit, stop, stop! I see him. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. Yeah, that means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. You do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead. Wait. No way I'll imagine that. Set up. Oh. Wait, you got approval <sighs> from Nadine to blow it. Okay, I think that's it. God damn it, Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Look, another sigil. Huh, Adam Baldridge, he ran Kings Bay for a while. He was a traitor, slaver, general scoundrel. Look at you. Yeah, prison, a lot of books.
these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now, how do we get out of here? Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. Easy. <laughs> Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Rafe? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. So Rafe's got the advantage there. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. He's thinking the same damn thing. What if they found the treasure already? Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Sam. You don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. What would you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. That's pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word? Ah, uh, uh, no. See that smoke? Ooh, shoreline, slow down. <laughs> Buckle up, everybody! Definitely something down there. No one will know. She'll know, the rest of the crew will know, and we'll be dead. Yeah, but I, I'm tired, so please drop it. Fine. Hang on. What's that? What was it? Hello? <coughs> hey, you okay? What the hell? Son of a bitch took him out. Think we're clear.
saying, Nate? Oh, yeah. If you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. That would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. <clears throat> oh, uh, <laughs> hey, Nathan, you maybe you want to ease up? Check it out, boys. What is it? Cool. Hey guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline marks? Can't tell. Well, it would appear we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. Drawbridge? How medieval. Yeah. Well, you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to keep people out. Or protect something inside. <laughs> Another sigil. So, do you recognize this one? I do, actually. And Bonnie. Hmm? Operated out of the Caribbean. Thought she died in jail. At least that's what the stories tell us. <laughs> right. Avery must have invited her, too. <laughs> I gotta go check out that drawbridge. Sounds good. Hey, be careful, kid. All right, I'll see if there's something up here. Hey, guys! There's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. Sam! Special delivery! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, kid. You all right? I'm fine. You all right? Yeah. You got this? Mm -hmm. I see anything. I'll bring the car closer. <laughs> Are you two just relax? I got this. I mean, there's only one crank, you know? <laughs> Keep up the good work, kid. Get that bridge down. 
Try that again. There we go. Tower on a volcano. Looks like the end's in sight, huh? <clears throat> now, not to nitpick, but Avery spent all that money on towers. Would it have killed him to put a guardrail up here? I'm gonna take a look around. So just how much do you owe Alcazar? Uh, half. Half of what? Well, he only knows about the Gunsway heist. Which is worth 400 million. Right, but if Nathan's theory is correct, then there's a lot more treasure in the mind. Well, you should have told him it was 200,000. You never tell your partners how much a job is really worth. I wasn't exactly expecting to be partnered with him. <laughs> All set. Here we go. Uh -oh. Oh. share on this one with my shrink. <laughs> Wait, you have a shrink? No, but I will after this. Come on, you guys are overreacting. The whole thing under control. Hold on to something. Ah, ah that was a nice change of pace. Yeah, I'm almost disappointed. Yeah, I'm almost. Now, let's find our way in. Let's go claim our treasure, boys. Yep. Hmm. Can't get in that way. <laughs> Sam, give me a hand with this. Yeah. See what we got here. Huh. Looks like there's something back here. Sam? Yeah. Let's do this. Damn. It's breaked over. All right, let's look around. Hey, careful with that thing, kid. <clears throat> Come on! Hey, there, hey there, this 
seems excited. Uh, he's got a lot riding on this. a treasure, though. You guys? Coming! Come check this out. St. Dismas. We meet again. So, what do we got? More sigils. There's our boy Avery. Thomas, too. And that's, uh... Um... It's Adam Baldridge, it's uh, Joseph Farrell, and it's Richard Warren. Hmm. Pirate captains. All right, so maybe your pirate pool theory wasn't so ridiculous after all. <laughs> all right, so, uh... Let's see, what do you think the trick is here? Gotta push a button, pull something? Uh, maybe... Maybe one of the arms, or... Yeah, give it a shot. <coughs> Come on. Boys. <laughs> Whenever you're done fondling poor St. Dismas, I think you might want to come take a look at this. The trapezoid is obviously the volcano. The crown, that's King's Bay. We got ourselves a map, gentlemen. Victor, you're a goddamn genius. Hear that, Nate? Genius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if we're here, this tower lines up with Avery Sigil. Okay, so then the other sigils must be the towers from Avery's time. Well, I mean, a treasure's gotta be in one of them, right? Yeah, but which one? I count 12 towers. Hey, uh, Victor? Huh? You didn't start smoking cigarettes by any chance, did you? Looks like we're not the first ones here. Hope so. You okay? Yeah, yeah, fine. <laughs> Sam? Yeah, over here. Hey, what are you doing? He's confirming a suspicion. Shit. Look at this. They figured out the towers, too. Locations, sigils, the works. So now what? Now what? Now we're screwed. Okay, because there's three of us, and there's God knows how many of them, and they have a head start? Yeah, but they don't know which tower to go to yet. Well, that's great, Nathan, because neither do we. Guess we do. <laughs> Look, it's a little worn down. Right there, that's a match. Yeah, are you sure? Because, I mean, it could be this one, too. But still, two beats the hell out of 12. All right. I'm gonna take this tower. You and Sully, you take that one. No, 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 no. no, no Rafe's guys are all over these towers by now. Exactly. So if we want to have a chance to catch them, then we've got to split up. Sam, just hold up a second, will you? Nate, he's right. 
These towers are at opposite ends of King's Bay. Damn it. Uh, if you run into any of those shoreline clowns, you call us, okay? See you soon. Come on, Nate. We gotta hurry. Yeah.